Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Let's see what we have for you for the week. And remember these readings won't be for everybody, so just take what resonates for you. We are looking at the 31st of January to the 6th of February 2022. Okay, message for our lovely Capricorns, please. Thank you, your card turned over. <laughs> We've got faraway places. Get ready for new horizons. Wow. Faraway places. Or maybe expanding, you know, maybe things, maybe you're opening up to, to new possibilities here, looking further afield. Could be physically far away places. It might also be you're, ex you're opening up from where you are, you know, you're looking further afield in some way. Let's see what this is about, Capricorn. Message for Capricorn, please, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Capricorn, okay. We have grey. Learn to scan your body, number 29. It's interesting, you know. That might mean something to some of you, but... You know when you kind of like take stock of the landscape of things where you currently are? It might well be that's giving you information. In, oh, indigo, improve your vision. Yeah, that might give you some information in terms of maybe expanding your boundaries or your sights or where you're setting your sights. We have grey. Learn to scan your body. Feels like that's energy of, of taking stock of the landscape, that kind of energy. And I've got indigo, improve your vision. Yeah, number 40. It just feels like some of you are opening things up, being open. Let's see what we have for you, Capricorn. A message for Capricorn for the week. What is the message for our lovely Capricorns for the week, please? Angel Spirits Guides message for Capricorn for the week. I'm using the Tarot of Dreams. Overarching energy first, please. Thank you. We've got the Hermit. Card of Virgo. Four of Wands in the challenge position. Generally happy home, happy family. We have the Queen of Coins. Capricorn, Germany for me as a reader. I feel that's you, male or female energy. Nice that you, oh my goodness, that's you again. The devil energy. Yeah, I mean, Capricorn in, is the major arcana. The devil is, is the major arcana for Capricorn. So two Capricorn energies side by side. With that, we have the full. The Knight of Cups. The Devil and the Six of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Coins. Okay, I'm going to clarify this Hermit. Clarify the Hermit, please, for Capricorn. Clarify the Hermit for Capricorn. We have the Four of Coins. Let's 
clarify this devil, please? Thank you. Two of Swords. Let's clarify the Fool. We have the Three of Swords. Now let's do the Knight of Cups, please. Thank you. The Page of Swords. With the King of Coins, it feels like a relationship. And bottom of the deck, which I kind of felt this was going in that direction, Capricorn, we have Judgment. It feels for some of you, you're wondering whether to broaden your horizons or you're looking to the future and you're wondering whether this is for you or not, this relationship. Here's what I'm getting. It's interesting, learn to scan your body, grey. It's looking at the, it feels like you're looking at the landscape of things here. I mean, again, these messages could mean things to you as well. Improve your vision, the way you're looking at something. Because, you know, sometimes this is not an easy thing to look at, right? You know, this situation. The hermit can be... can indicate healing. Healing, how to heal the situation, how to find the way forward, shining the light from within finding answers from within. In that lamp is source, God, the universe, lighting you up, giving you inspiration, giving you guidance, guidance in darkness, showing you the way forward, giving you the answers that you've been searching for. And it generally is to help you, so help you resolve this. Because the Four of Coins represents here, Capricorn, somebody who is protecting themselves or again this energy of self-preservation self-protection because they don't want to be hurt i feel this is an energy where you may have been hurt by somebody or let down disappointed the three of swords can be a number of things disappointment emotional pain third party situations Again, the challenge may be of thinking, let's just, you know, move in a completely new direction and liberate from all of this. You know, that is the energy here because somebody is protecting themselves and they don't necessarily want to give any more to a situation or a person. Because they've been hurt by them. And this improving vision is interesting because you're beginning to see things clearly and maybe making assessments of how you move forward and maybe even considering broadening your horizons here in terms of how you do move forward. The four of wands is generally happy home, happy family, happy relationship, the four corners of stability and security. However, it's in the challenge position which represents that this is challenged in some way. For some of you, it could be, if it's not a relationship, it could be a child as well that you're dealing with. You know, it might well be you and you're the half. Again, queen of coins, king of coins. You might be dealing with a child here, Capricorn. That could be the other thing in this reading. Somebody who has disappointed you, caused you emotional pain. You know, disrupted the home, the family and the harmony of that. And this can be the energy of whatever this is. I just don't know whether to just, you know... I wash my hands, you know, it's that kind of energy. I'm stepping foot on a new path and I'm, I'm washing my hands of it all. I'm opening a brand new door for myself because I don't want to be hurt again. So again, however that resonates for you. Generally, these two people 
male or female energy fit together perfectly but clearly there's something going on here again it might well be for some of you Capricorn that a child is playing a part in this you know a page of swords can be a child it could be a truth to do with a child or some kind of behavioral pattern sometimes very um Still has a lot to learn, you know, but that sword, as I always say, can hurt, can cut. So it might well be that you're beginning to understand, get some understanding, some clarity of how you resolve this situation, either in the relationship to, to start afresh or with a child, I'm feeling for some of you. Clearly there is an offer here on the table. The Knight of Cups is an offer of love it is an offer of emotion of feelings that wants to bring positive change to situations that will wear their heart on the sleeve and say everything that they need to say and open up completely you know it it, it feels in this energy either this is a relationship or can be and maybe speaking their truth if it's a relationship it's speaking the truth someone's speaking their truth getting things off their chest maybe uh, but for a lot of you, it could also be to do with a child. And they, probably the same energies apply here. Somebody wanting to make something right. But there's an energy here of a person's being very defensive and very uh, guarded because the, it feels like you've been here before. So we have the Two of Swords, not really wanting to see the truth of this, not really wanting to face this and make a decision, but knowing a decision needs to be made. And deep down intuitively with that Two of Swords, your intuition is speaking to you quite strongly in terms of how you resolve this situation. Because there's a repeating negative cycle here. The devil can be an energy of addiction, so some kind of addictive, uh, repeating negative behavioural pattern, you know, uh, shopping, gambling, uh, drinking and so on and so forth, you know. It can be somebody who you're physically attracted to, but you know they're not for your highest good. Um, and the devil tempts us with what, the, with what we want the most, you know. It's very attractive, it's very alluring. There are attachments to the devil, very strong ones that are difficult to break free of for that reason. And this is why someone's having difficulty in facing this, in facing the truth of this, in terms of making difficult decisions and choices, because they don't really want to. However, there is a desire for overcoming the thing that challenges you right now in the relationship. The six of wands. Really wanting to overcome this. really wanting to put this behind you and really wanting to start a fresh new path whether you can do in the relationship or with the child somebody is at that point where they're like do i just continue with this do i accept their offer their apology their peace offering whatever this is or do i just put it behind me and move on you know because somebody's at that point here because the six of coins is oh i'll do this i will do this let's do this let's you know i'll 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 get I'll I'll change, I will put the effort in, I will restore the harmony, I will do what it takes, all of that kind of energy. But I feel this person has heard it all before. Yeah. The judgment card which came out at the bottom of this deck is some kind of significant judgment call. A choice. Do I give this person a second chance? They're reaching out, offering me something, but it feels like, you know, I've been here before. It's a token gesture. I've been hurt before as well, and I don't want to be hurt before again. So I'm really going within, really scanning the landscape here, and maybe improving the vision, looking at this with a fresh pair of eyes, in terms of how we do move forward here. For some of you, maybe even opening your perspective in some way, look into new horizons we have judgment again some kind of final decision or choice which generally will bring resolution to the situation once and for all 
you know, there is an energy here that maybe you've given somebody, you know, chances before here, Capricorn, and they, they've let you down because I, I get this with this guarded energy, you know, the four of coins. Somebody is protecting their heart. They're protecting their head. They're protecting their feet. You know, they're protecting their body here. They're protecting their energy because they don't want to be hurt anymore. So I feel resolution is needed. And again, this is a call to action. When the judgment card appears, it's spirit saying action needs to be taken. You have an opportunity either to go around another house with this energy that does repeat itself. Um, if, if you give this person another chance, I feel they've had another chance before, you know, this is the energy of expect exactly the same outcome. Or you can move in a new direction and open up your horizons, your perspective. Sometimes the hermit energy is to remove yourself, consciously remove yourself from situations and go to your quiet space in order to gain perspective, in order to find illumination, where you're in the dark, you know, where you don't really see a way forward or have difficulty in making decisions, especially when you're so close to the situation. For some of you, it might well be, how do you remove yourself from a situation, physically remove yourself, maybe for a period of time, and it might well be this faraway place, this might be to go and stay with somebody or go somewhere or get even like half a day, a day perspective, you know, on your own to really think about things. It can be that kind of energy here, Capricorn, in order to make some significant decision, because it does feel like a big decision here. get some advice any other message for Capricorn please angel spirits guides any message for Capricorn any advice or guidance for this reading nine of swords yeah a lot of overthinking going on but negative thinking and sometimes with the nine of swords because somebody is so close to the situation and so focused on it you know things we can lose perspective of our own mind if we're not careful you know again that could be an energy of maybe you need some time some way of stepping back from this what do we have please as advice we have the knight of coins which is slowly but surely. Spirit will help bring the clarity your way to get you back on track and bring transformation, the magician to your world. Yeah, the magician can be the energy of understanding how to take action, understanding how the one thing that you want to transform, bring transformation to that particular area and the universe giving you the clarity that you need to break free of this energy nine of swords stress anxiety worry sleepless nights but it can be where you're uncertain of the future of a situation as well because again the knight of coins slowly but surely take everything slow um a grounding energy a methodical and practical energy but it is an energy of getting back on track here and giving you the clarity that you need to make some kind of significant decision or choice in how to bring transformation to the situation. So Spirit is saying, approach this situation, come to this decision in a slow way. You know, for some of you, it might well be removing yourself from the situation may help. There is an energy that Spirit is going to bring you the clarity that you need in order to make decisions, choices, communicate what you need to communicate here, your truth in order to bring transformation to your life is what I have here so I feel spirits helping you bring resolution and helping you transform this in a positive way from base metal to gold negative to positive and so on and so forth helping you make the decision come to a decision slowly but surely spirit is recognizing that right now you're not in the right headspace to make a decision. So take things slow and spirit will help bring the clarity that you need to 
in terms of how to take action and transform this and what this judgment will be. Okay. Final message for Capricorn, please. I love that because I feel spirit is, it's a really, um, the purple color is quite spiritual as well. So number 40, improve your vision. I feel spirit's gonna help you get sight. Full sight of the situation and full clarity of what to do to resolve it. Okay, final message for Capricorn, please. Final message for Capricorn, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Yeah, the light. <laughs> the light at the end of the tunnel, maybe. It is time to reveal your radiant light to the world. Yeah, I feel Spirit is giving you hope here. You're going to see the light at the end of this. And Spirit's going to help you, I feel. A lot of divine help here. Let's pull one more card. Any other message, please? Oh, okay. So we have transcendence. Transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine. So this is transcendence, where you really open your mind, you know. And spirit helps you bring the clarity that you need. We have magnificence. You are amazing, magnificent and unique. But most importantly, you are enough. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Choice. Well, yeah, we know that, don't we? By staying conscious in your thoughts, you guide your journey in the direction of choice. And final message, fruition. Rest assured your dreams and visions will come to fruition. That's what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you.